Okay. Well, I finally found the time to try this uh, experiment. Um, what I have here is my, it's an ion uh, propulsion lifter mounted horizontally across an axis. So basically it's a small motor that runs on static electricity. Uh, I've posted a few videos of it working uh, in normal air, but right now I've got it set up to run in my uh, vacuum chamber. So now, what I'm going to do, it's going to get loud here because this thing makes a little bit of racket, but uh, I just want to demonstrate that when I power it up, I'm going to fire it up with about 10,000 volts. And when I do that, all right, got 10,000 volts to it, and that little baby just sings along just fine. So this thing is running right now on static electricity, and I'm I'm pretty sure it's using ion wind to propel itself, or it's using something that's uh, it needs air to operate. These things will not run in a vacuum. Uh, right now, I'm going to turn on the vacuum chamber. It's going to get loud again, like I said, and then I'm going to start applying a vol or a vacuum to it. And what you'll notice, as soon as I start to increase the uh, the vacuum, this thing will find a happy little spot where to get a little bit faster. Like there. And then, once the air is gone, the motion stops. And I'm not even at an absolute vacuum yet. I'm pushing... Whoa. 20 HG. Uh, I can pull an absolute vacuum, but if I do, I'm afraid I'm going to catch it on fire. Uh, I had a little, uh, there it goes, arcing earlier because of that. I want to release, release the vacuum. Once I get down to the atmosphere again, it'll start to pick back up. Again, I'll increase the atmosphere, decrease the atmosphere, and it stop working eventually you'll start to see it spark right now it's starting to self ignite and I don't like that I'm going to release some more of this vacuum off of it and there she goes again so with that kind of unfortunate, but these lifters will not work in space, they will not work in an absolute vacuum, they won't even work in a partial vacuum. So, uh, back to the drawing board, guys.